Hello, welcome to HP Ingredients. Um, firstly, today I'm going to teach you how to do um, tempering on a slab. So slab tempering will be number one. First thing you need is the equipment. Um, I've got a bamery here with chocolate set in at above 40 degrees. I've got um, my bowl, I've got my scraper and my pallet knife. And also, most importantly, I've got my temperature probe. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is check the temperature of the chocolate. Um, I need this temperature in the bamery to be above 40 degrees. A uh, good reason why it's above 40 degrees is that at 40 degrees we've taken all the crystal structure out of the chocolate. So I know that I'm going to grow the crystals myself on the slab. Whereas, you know, we're not starting with any crystals. So we've got a complete base to start from where we know there's no crystals in here. I then control the crystal growth by growing them on the slab. So the first thing we need to do is set the probe in the chocolate. Don't stay around too much, but just make sure we've got a chocolate temperature above 40 degrees. And this is looking good. It's at 42. So I'm comfortable that we can start, start temping this chocolate. OK, so now we've got the chocolate and we know the chocolate temperature is above 40 degrees. That's the first critical point to remember, above 40 degrees. Um, we're now going to temper on the slab. Now, the, I, the aim of what we're going to do without going too scientific here is we're going to put this chocolate onto this slab, which is cool. Uh, we're going to move the chocolate around. And the idea is to bring this chocolate from 40 degrees to kind of bring it back down uh, to roughly about 28 degrees. What we're going to do by bringing it from 40 down to 28 is we're going to start growing crystals. So as we bring the chocolate temperature down below sort of 36, we start to grow crystals. The downside of that is we'll grow good crystals, bad crystals, and every other crystal in between, keeping it nice and simple. Um, so once we've grown these crystals and got it down to 28 degrees, we then need to raise the temperature slightly. So we're raising it from roughly around 28 degrees, 27 degrees, back up to about 30, 32 with dark chocolate. Um, what that does is all the bad crystals melt away and you're left with just good crystals. So first thing is get this down to 28 degrees, we grow crystals, good and bad, and then we take it back up to about 32 degrees um, to actually destroy the bad crystals and we remain with just the good crystals. So that's the aim of what we're going to do. A couple of things that are important is, like you say, make sure, again, chocolate is above 40 degrees to start with. This goes onto the slab and then movement. Movement and time are most important here because we're going to grow the crystals, but we need to spread them. Okay, so moving them and keeping it moving on the slab is important. This does get a little bit messy at times and will take a bit of practice, but once you've done it two or three times, it's the quickest way of temping chocolate. Um, so, okay, we're going to begin. Okay, so let's start on the slab. So I need, at this point, I need my pallet knife and my scraper. Um, people have different preferences to what size scrape. Some people like the massive ones, like these ones. Some people like the smaller ones. But again, the action is you'll hold this one in the right hand, this one in the left hand. If, well, it depends whether you're right or left-handed, but this is where I do it. And the action is to move the chocolate with the scraper and then scrape the back and the front off. So that's just keeping it neat, but I'll show you that as I'm doing it. Um, we're going to tip the chocolate onto the slab, like I say, to encourage the crystal growth and move it around the slab. So let's start with that. OK, so chocolate on the slab. When I tip the chocolate out, I'm not going to tip it all out. I'm going to tip it onto the slab and leave some in it. So don't scrape the bowl out. OK, tip it out and leave probably about sort of 10% of the chocolate in there. The reason why we leave it in the bowl is purely because that that's what's going to raise the temperature at the end. So that's still at 40 degrees. We put that to one side. OK, this chocolate is now on the slab and it's now cooling down. So sort of, again, your movement and messing around, it depends on which way you want to do it. But again, it's moving the chocolate on the slab. There's no panic, so don't rush. Moving the chocolate on the slab and then scraping it off. So again, this is the way I was taught to do it. And it is literally just moving it around the slab. So it's process of pushing it out and bringing it in. So again, you can just move it and be brave. Don't, don't be scared of it. But the action of scraping it off keeps everything nice and clean. Again, just keep moving it and working it around on the, on the slab. So again, all I'm doing at this point is spreading the chocolate out on the cold marble just to encourage the crystal growth. The more I move it with the scrapers and the spatula, the more crystals encouraged to grow. And also to spread around the chocolate. So it's just a process of moving the chocolate and then pulling it back into the middle. We're going to keep doing this till we get down to about 28 degrees. There's two ways of checking that. But I mean, really, you need a thermometer 
but after you've done it a few times you'll start to see the chocolate will thicken and you'll just get better at it and you'll know what you're doing. This chocolate's starting to look a little thicker now, you can see that it's starting to hold together. So the next thing now is just to take a temperature check on that. And again, you want to keep it moving, you don't want to leave it stood too still. So again, scraping off, trying to work clean. The most important thing with chocolate is to try and keep clean. So in with the um, <coughs> temperature probe, I'm looking for around 28 degrees. If it's a little bit lower, it doesn't matter. This one's coming out about 26 which is perfect. Make sure you're not touching the slab with the end of the probe, otherwise it will be a lot colder. That's perfect. So now remember, we've got chocolate in the bowl, so this is at 40 degrees. This chocolate's at 25, 26 degrees. By putting this back in this bowl and stirring it, we're going to end up with chocolate, hopefully, around the 30, 32 mark. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. So place the bowl underneath and then it's a matter of scraping in. Again, this takes a bit of practice and you will end up with chocolate everywhere to start with and you do get chocolate on your feet, but you will get used to it. And again, there's different ways of doing it, but just try and work sort of clean is the best way of putting it. If there's any areas that have set on the marble, like this area here, you can just see an area that's starting to set, I'll leave that on the slab because I don't want to put lumps in my chocolate. So keep moving the chocolate, keep it working into there. And there we go. Once that's all in there, again scrape down so you're not making a mess. Okay, then it's a matter of just movement. So at this point you want to just move it. So again, use a spoon or use a, a scraper or something or whatever and just move the chocolate around. So we're mixing that 40 degree chocolate in with the, uh, the cold chocolate to bring the temperature up. And again, movement's important at this stage because the more movement, the more you encourage crystal growth. So the more you move it, the better. And again, you need to be a little bit patient here. Just give it a really good stir. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Keep moving it around. Okay, once we think we've blended it all in nicely, again, the longer you leave that, the more crystals will grow. But now we've put some crystals in there, those crystals will continue to grow. If I leave that there for half an hour, it'll set. So again, you know, time's always against you when you've got it in a bowl at this stage. So now, as we leave it, the more crystals will grow. Okay. Next stage is to do a test. Now, this is the most important thing I was ever taught on chocolate. Um, the one day you don't do this is the one day it always will be untempered and will ruin what you're doing. Just remember, you've put a lot of time and effort into making this bowl of chocolate. So by doing a test, it's just a metal implement like that, a scraper or a knife that's at room temperature or cool. You just tap it in, scrape the back and then put it on the side. And we're just making sure that sets properly. So when I say about a test, again, the most important thing is use a knife, use a palette knife, something cold. This is the most important thing I can teach you about chocolate. No matter what you do with chocolate, always do a test. Um, because the temperature tells you something, the probe tells you something, but this is the key. You know, if this isn't right, don't start. You know, if you've spent a lot of time making a chocolate or a ganache and then you're gonna dip it, um, you know, if you don't get the chocolate right and it's not tempered, all that work you've done beforehand, you've wasted. So this is key. It takes three minutes, two minutes to do this, but if you don't do it, the consequences cost you hours worth of work. Um, so again, it's just a metal implement, something that's sort of room temperature cool. I tend to use a kitchen knives or something like that, and you just into the chocolate, tap it to make it nice and thin so it sets quicker, scrape the back. Okay, and then put it on the side. And we're looking for that to set. Okay, so this is our tempered chocolate. Looking at the thermometer, it's exactly as I said it would be. It's at 31 degrees, so we know it's tempered and my test is on the table. And looking from this, it's looking pretty good. So again, perfect temperature. And my two tests have been there for about three minutes now. Uh, and they're absolutely solid. Um, there's no marks or shines on it. Uh, there's the, so there's, no, there's a good shine, there's no marks or smears, uh, and it's completely set. So I did two tests and both of them have come out looking really solid and giant. That took three minutes. So that's the most important thing. If either of those were still wet after five minutes, uh, or really streaky or lines in after five minutes, then we know that the chocolate's too warm. So we haven't grown enough crystals. Two options at that point. Um, 
the, the best option really is to start again uh, and just, just sort of grow again. So again, you know, if, you, if your crystals were too hot and this was still wet after five minutes, you haven't got enough crystals in your chocolate. So you didn't grow enough on the slab. So therefore, we have to start again. So I'd start by warming this back up to 40 degrees in a microwave um, and then start by bringing it back down again and just start again. It takes a couple of minutes, but it's not worth trying to save that really at this point. I think it's quicker just to start again. Um, but again, you know, the tests are both okay. The chocolate temperature is saying it's okay. So at that point, I'm ready to use that chocolate.